Welcome back to the Town Pool Series and we're through to the shootout. Semi-finals we started today with 16. Only four left for that one prize in about an hour, an hour and a half's time. So let's meet our first two semi-finalists. And this guy entered as our wild cards. And he's proven his worth with two terrific victories. A European and World Nations under-23 champion. It's Cold... What a day he has had so far. He's enjoying himself here. Two terrific victories. We've seen him beat the local boy, Kean Monaghan and Liam Dunster, both in emphatic style. Has he got a third win up his sleeve? Let's find out as we welcome back Patty McCarran. Well, first up in the semi-finals, we've got Pat McCarran against Cole Bedford. And a uh, bit of a contrast in styles, really. Pat McCarran's just been solid, solid as a rock. Um, he's played a real, played a, well, played brilliant against Liam Dunster to beat him 5-0. And played very well in his quarter-final too. Cole Bedford, breath of fresh air, really, but, but much more fluid, much more fluent. Um, you know, just very different styles actually to be honest and should be a really good match both in their debut in the event as well both have uh, never played in this event before so we're going to have a, a debutant in the final of this event who's it going to be and we're going to have oh, we've got a good chance I should say of a first time winner at this event Jordan Shepard will have other ideas I want to add to his multiple wins yeah Worth noting, they haven't got a pair of socks between them. <laughs> yes, we've learned a thing or two about fashion today, Dan and myself. I don't know, have we learned, no? Or have oh, we just learned what not to some do? Some people's perspective on fashion. Yeah, yeah. Each to their own. Always comfort for me, first and foremost. If there's an opportunity to avoid blisters, I would normally take it. <laughs> Right, first Here we up. go. He's really engaged well with the crowd, hasn't he? How has that white stayed out? No idea how that white stayed out there. No idea. But he hasn't left much for Cole. First glance. He handled it really well early, didn't he? Pat against um, against the local boy, Kean. The crowd were right against him, and um, I thought he held himself together really well. That's a nice run through pot, but I don't know what he's going to do now. Awkward queuing, and he's going to have to take this. He's got no choice, really, but to take this red down the cushion. Try and play it at a pocket weight so that worst case scenario, if you don't make the pot, you're covering the pocket. But I think shot. he's made it. It's a great shot from Cole Bedford. He's really impressed me. So far, is he's just it's fearless, isn't he? Yeah, and he's clearly a leader. Welsh under 23 captain. I think he's one of the, he's he's a confidence player. If you see him at his best compared to at his worst, they're two completely different people. But today, certainly turned up with confident head on.
Wales versus Scotland in semi-final one. Reminder if you're just joining us, it's a, it's a race to five frames all the way through. Half an hour maximum time limit on the matches. 30 second shot clock, which at the halfway point, the 15 minute point of the match, halves itself to 15 seconds. The end result is a very exciting brand of pool. Yeah, and Cole, this is crucial. This is, 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 has it been a trick? He's no. missed it. He's missed it. She's gestured there with his elbow as if he's twitched it and he's chucked one in there, but it wasn't easy. And, um, the first couple of matches or anything to go by, I fancy Patty to take these out. Yeah, he's not shown an ounce of nerves so far, Pat McCarran. No, balls of steel in these first couple of uh, matches. The only thing really that can go wrong is is the yellow that's on that top cushion, but he's got the perfect the perfect setup at the top of the table there to be able to land on it perfectly. So I'd be very surprised if he doesn't take a one nil lead here. I just want to leave a little bit of angle so that he can get the white away from the cushion. Probably about where it is now, but leave the white somewhere between the yellow and white. Just there, it's perfect. Now this is a big shot. If you get this, it should be one nil up. If you miss it, it's frame over. He has got it. Fair distance to travel, but you would expect McCarran to see this one through. As you bounce. A little betwixt and between. I have to go corner now. No, he's going to play the cup. No mistake. First blood to the Scotsman. Patty McCarran on the board and well he's enjoyed his entire day. He's not gonna stop now. He's not he's been brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> shake of the head. <laughs> shake of the head. He's not impressed, is he? He is not impressed. <laughs> Give over, I think, or something along those lines, he muttered. Oh, where's the back? Oh. Still not seen the golden break today. Still not seen it, but I think he's made a ball. Reds. Uh, others might have gone yellows, but I, I can understand why he's taken reds. I think it's one of them. If you asked a hundred players, you'd probably get a, a, a bit of a mixture as to what they'd have taken. Has that one just got away from him? There, is, is, is he on a ball at all? They can definitely take the take the red to the right middle if he wants to but he, he wanted that to be his last ball I think to get onto the black he's having to play that it's really well played really well controlled deserves to be on a ball there I don't know if he is or not I think he is yeah, I think he's got a pop to the, uh, the bottom right corner No, he's not. He's having to take on this mega thin oh, cup. Wow. It's really well played, Cole Bedford. It's brilliant. 
Well, I thought there was a gap through from the angle we had. He's got spring in his step, and I think he's landed, fortunately, with a perfect angle to just screw straight back and dislodge that red. There's the white to settle down, though. Yeah, and he hasn't quite got into it enough. He's, uh, he's digging a hole for himself here. It's just getting harder and harder to keep this clearance going. Yeah, no. It's just gradually getting away from him. It was, and he felt like that was sort of inevitable three or four shots ago when he started running out of position. It wasn't an easy clearance as it was, but he has got one problem yellow. That's it. Just needs to leave himself some sort of angle to either land on that yellow into either the middle pocket or the corner pocket. Could 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 even leave himself a could even leave himself a, a double. On the yellow, but the way Pat's played all day, I fancy him to find a way to to do it. Okay, so he's going to screw back. I think he was going to plan to do it off this yellow in the middle. I don't think he's got the right angle. No, he hasn't. See, there he hasn't. I thought he could have just topped it through, maybe. Played that with top spin and got the white above the bulk line and then played the yellow at the top of the table and then took the, the white off two cushions to come in behind the yellow. Tell you what, though, he's played that really well. It's a great shot. Decent result. Yeah, I think he had to cheek the pocket to create the angle. He's played it really well. He is losing the white a little bit here. Just make sure the pot doesn't matter if he pots the red. If he tops it through, he's, he's digging in. Oh, oh no, he's missed the pot. He's missed the pot. It's about time we had a game go to the wire, isn't it? Yeah, we've not had one. Had one all day. Not had one closer than 5-2, I don't think. No. Could have been kinder. Oh, Cole Bedford, what have you done? What have you done? Great chance for 2-0. All about this shot. Mm. And that is far from perfect. To the point, he may not even continue to go for the clearance here because he's got an easy safety. Yeah, he can just tuck him up. That's what he's played, but... Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, wow. We wouldn't have minded that dropping. Far off. A strange frame, this one. Yeah, this is 2 0 for me. I'm just going to see Patty just uh, screw back towards the middle of the table. And that's 2 0, and I think Pat's gone. I mean, he's kind of had it all his own way today, hasn't he? That just, just the entire. Entire day. 5 0 first match, 5 2. Second match against Kean. Tune it up. Where's my music? He says. <laughs> 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 Let me celebrate. He's not there yet, but the first two frames up on the board <laughs> for McCarran. Cole doesn't like it, does he? Look, he is not happy.
So 2-0, not the two quickest frames either. No, but plenty of time for, for Cole to, to get his way back into this match. I think the next frame is a must, and the white straight in off as well. It's a poor break, it's a poor hit, because it wasn't kicked in off, it went straight in off. It's a bad one from Pat. Cole Bedford, you need these. If you don't get these, I think that's the end. Can't see him coming back from 3-0 down. Really well controlled, there's a good shot. Slightly hamper Kuhn, but I think he'll be fine. Just take the bottom of these two reds. No, he's, he's rerouting, he's going to leave these two till last. It's a good decision, I think. See, I don't like this. I, 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 he's now having to dig in. He's just sort of running out of position here. But he's fine. He's, he's recovered that really well, actually. It's a good shot. I think with these quicker players, Cole's a really good example where his his strength is like his weakness as well. He can, he can make certain aspects of the game look really easy when he's flowing. But that sort of fast nature, that fast pace that he plays at also means that he does chuck in the odd silly mistake and the odd sort of just bit of carelessness but overall it makes him very exciting to watch well he's striking here when he has to see that there that's a terrible shot he's, he's a he's a foot foot and a half short of where he needed to be I still fancy him to get this but great he shot has. Great shot. And it's 2-1. And that only took a couple of minutes or so off the clock. And suddenly the smile returns. <laughs> uh, that's brilliant. It showed a lot of character to, to, to finish those after what's happened the last couple of frames. And he did run out of position a couple of times in that finish. So they're almost it's almost more impressive when someone does pull a clearance out like that after what's happened these last couple of frames and having to chase that finish the whole way around and ended up um, putting a really good black actually. So game on, 2-1. He's made a ball. Yellow to left centre. Wow, I think yellows or reds would be I fancy him to get both here. He's seen the route already. He's, he's yeah. wasting no time. This might be the quickest frame of the day. Just like that. What a fight back. Just having a check there. Does he want to play on this into the corner? Or does he want to play on it into the middle? 15 seconds shot clock. Looks like he's going middle. He needs to stay away from the middle pocket. Perfect, good shot. Just make sure the white doesn't flick off this red in the middle of the table. Go towards the corner pocket. Perfect. Good comeback. <laughs> Supposed to be in battle out there. Oh, he's jing himself up. Come on, he says. Big push. It's a good match, this. It's a good match. It's two each. 
13 minutes to go. We could get our first black ball shootout. Yeah, we've, we've never been in this position today. 2-2 two -two with a relatively small amount of time left. He's dry again. Yeah. Cole again is in, but the black, an obvious problem. And the red just above it too. You wonder if his plan might be to leave the, would have been to leave the double on the red until last into the right middle because then he could kind of screw into the black in the same shot and get the black out as well I mean he plays so quickly it's quite hard to kind of figure out what he's what he's trying to do but he's missed one down the cushion and Pat's in with the shorter shot clock now in effect final half of the match down to 15 seconds per shot Great shot. A great pot, I should say. Yeah, very nicely done. It's not getting much easier for him. He's looking at playing a plant there. I didn't think that was a dead set oh. plant. It wasn't. It wasn't a dead set plant, but he's, he's played that really well. And he was trying to get the black out in the same shot. That's why he's played it. He's missed it, and um, he's got a cut along the cushion now. Not disastrous. But he's left it, but the shot I spoke about earlier. This double in the middle. Uh, see, I, I, I like the idea of playing that double now. Be bold, be brave, play the double. Get the black out. You might even skill shot the black onto the yellow. I think he's looking at playing it. He just maybe should have played it. Played it two shots ago. Right, he's played that to perfection as well. Hold your horses. It's there. Oh, that's harsh, that's a great effort. And he's moved the black but into another, well, it's, it's not quite impossible, but almost. No, he would have loved to have played the black onto the yellow. I think that was, was plan A, but um, he's very close to that yellow with his hand. Oh, he's he's cute, that like a dream. Is he looking to leave himself a skill shot? I don't think he's got much choice. Yeah, he can't hold now. No. Behind the black to play up to top left. If he could get the white where it was oh, just then, no. it would have been perfect. Is he not on it? No. Nope. Oh, no. It's in hope. Crucial, crucial frame. Where's this gone? Where's this gone? <laughs> it wouldn't be touching ball there. I think he's going to have to have to take the corner now. I think he's over on that slightly. No, he's he's fine. He's fine. So, just needs to leave himself a good angle. He wants to get as close to that black as possible. Um, wants to be as close to that middle pocket as possible, and that's that's not very good. That's not a very good angle at all. Might be able to top well, top and right hand side maybe, but you, in an ideal world, you'd have got that cue ball to the right of the middle pocket. Played He's that. now a couple of feet back from that. Played that well though. Did play it well. This for three two. I can't get no sleep. And nudges ahead again. Appreciated by his opponent. And well played. Just a around play. advantage passing McGarren.
<laughs> Just telling his mate to go away. So, eight and a half minutes. Great break. It's a, it's a brilliant break from Cole Bedford. Brilliant break. Well, I think the red, if the red goes to the middle, I think that's what he's just looked at. If the red goes to the middle, this is, um, he's, he's only really got one tricky shot, which is the red uh, next to the yellow, the bottom of the table, but. Oh, he's missed it. Flick. Oh. Little flick on the way through, and it still went in. Enjoying himself out there. Well, I think we're going to get the tight finish we've craved. Not had one yet. Yeah, yeah, he just needs to leave himself the perfect angle here to, to top this through. And he's going to be playing the red into the right middle pocket as his last ball, but he has to get low on it. If he see that, I don't know that's any good. No, he needed to catch it's no good. He needed to be further down so that he could take the white up the, the center of the table and he's he's under hit that. Oh, a bit of magic now. Mm. Really tough cut on this black, but if he gets it, we're at three apiece. Shot! Oh, have a bit of that! Shot, Cole Bedford! Well played, young man. Well, under that pressure, that's a, that's a brilliant shot. These last two frames, we've seen two really good blacks under pressure, and they haven't rolled them or... But they've, they've, they've punched them in with authority, like they're a you know, real positive attitude towards it. It's like it, it's good to see. Ah, he's happy now. Didn't look like that 2 0 down. Six minutes and a bit, 3 3. Another good break. Oh. This side break's working really well for both players. And the yellows. These yellows are fairly good. Looks calm, doesn't he, Patty? Looks, looks composed. Nothing really phases him. And then he enjoys himself at the end of the frame. So the yellow left middle, yellow bottom left, yellow right middle. Try and leave yourself dead straight. Oh, wow, he's gone too far for that. Well, this should have been unmissable, but... It's a tough played it well. Very played nice it well. To play it uncontrolled. Yeah, just needs to leave himself dead straight now and he can, he can top it through for the black into the middle. Could even punch across if he wants. Depends what angle he has. Yeah, that's not very good. That's not what he wanted. So he's gonna, he's gonna leave himself a. He wanted to be a lot closer to this. They're quite tight. These the, the cut of these pockets are quite tight compared to other tables. Well, you'd still take this though for a four-three lead. Well played. Well played. Rolls it in. Four-three. Advantage McCarran with time running down to four minutes. Brilliant, brilliant stuff from both of them. It's been a really good match. Trading blows. They went 2-0 McCarran. Then two for Bedford for 2-2. Two -two. And it's been nip and tuck ever since. Big break. Needs a ball. Has to be. He's got a ball. He's got a couple of balls. I think he's on a yellow. He's not on a red. So he's got no choice but to go yellows. What's he got? 
problem is as well that at the top of the table, that yellow doesn't go past the red into the top left corner. So he's either going to have to develop that or, or leave himself a double. I fancy a double. Certainly got no choice but to play the double now, but it's, it's getting on the next yellow that's going to be the problem. He's got a bit ahead of himself here. Great shot. Great shot. Great shot, but he's just not... He's just out of position. He's, he's sort of digging here. Digging deeper and deeper. Surely he's not going to play a plant. Surely, but what else has he got? He's missed it. It wasn't too far away, to be fair. We're not going to get another frame in. So, Bedford's going to have to win this here. Well, yeah, yeah and, and but the way he's left these is... This isn't easy for, for Pat to clear from here. Certainly not now. This is a, this is a real tester, and the problem is it, the shot after this isn't going to be much easier. Contemplating, does he play a safety? Oh, he's going for it. Just got the shot away. He thinks it wasn't. He did play the shot in time. That's fine. So now Cole. Oh, he's oh. missed it. He's, he's. That's a bad one. There was nowhere near. There was nowhere near. I think he was a little bit worried that. If he did stun it, the white was going away from the last yellow as well. So he was almost trying to pot it thick, but to make well, sure of the pot call. Look at resignation. Oh, That's wow. Miss as well. That's another big miss. Oh, wow. It's a bit of drama. He's got 1 minute 30 on the clock. But that yellow, I think it's tied up now, isn't it? It is tied up, but has he got an angle to be able to stun or top into it now? Well, what a shot this would be. This is huge. Oh, he got the cannon, but not the pot. A bit of saving grace, I think he's going to tie the black up, but he hasn't. It could be game over. And the clock could beat him, you know. Well, I think if he runs the clock down, I don't think he can lose this match. That's all he has to do. Yeah, he's, he's got, got three shots, four shots, less than... The problem might be here. If that red doesn't stay, if that red pops out, that's fine, it's just, just, just about okay. He doesn't even need to to pot the black. If he takes 15 seconds on each of the two reds, he's there. He needs that to keep going. If that had carried on a couple of inches, this game would have been over, but well, this is a bit of a this, tester. Cole's probably going to have about 20 seconds to pot uh, three balls. He is. Oh, great shot. No! Great oh. shot, and that's that. Wow, wow, that's wow. a win. Patty McCann's in the final. Wow, that was so close to that bottom left corner pocket. It's a victory. That's the first time we've seen the end of the match, but a handshake. Played in good spirits, this. The wild card is out, finally. Great run for Cole Bedford, but what a run for Patty McCarran, and it continues. He's going all the way. He's into the final, and he'll play either Jordan Shepard or Craig Lakin, that semi-final two.